In this demonstration video, I'll show some of the basic features of the extrusion modeler in Odeon. I've opened the extrusion modeler and we start out by drawing one extrusion surface. Like that. By assigning a height to this extrusion surface, we can create a room with walls. So, I make this room 3 meters high. Now we can press the Odeon icon to see it in Odeon, in 3D. So we created a room with walls, floor and a ceiling. I go back to the extrusion modeler. So in Odeon extrusion modeler there's layers. The layers can be used for grouping different types of surfaces. So the layer can be the room layer. We could make another layer of tables. And another one of chairs. And maybe a fourth one containing columns. Now Let's draw the tables, so we make this the current layer and create a new surface. So a table, we can make a table that is one by a half meter in dimension. And we can use the tabulation properties in Odeon in order to make several of these tables. The table should not have an extrusion height, we just make thin plates in this room. And then we place tables at 0 0.7 meters above the floor. The tabulation properties we can use for making multiple tables. So in this case we could make 10 tables and have a distance of 3 meters between the tables. We could also tabulate the tables in the y dimension. So let's take 3 tables here. 3 tables and a distance of 3 meters between them. You can continue to do the same thing in the Z dimension of the room, but it would make tape <laughs> make sense for tables. So let's have a look and see that we actually created tables in this room. We did. So that was not too difficult. We could make a copy, Ctrl C, of this table and move it, Shift key down, right mouse, mouse button and move. We would want to change the tabulation property of this second group of tables, so we wouldn't want to have as many tables in the x dimension of the room, we want 5 instead of 10. That's it. Let's do some tables as or some chairs as well. So what we do is we make the chair layer the active one, and then we create a chair. I press the Ctrl A shortcut to create a new surface. And then we draw the seat of the chair. And we can change the coordinates of this chair. And you could also fine tune the coordinates down in the point editor. So one point at a time. Now, we need some other tabulation properties of chairs. So chairs should be at a height of 0.4 meters. We want a backrest of 0.4 meter. The bottom is the seat. We don't need a top in this chair. And we should remove some of the side surfaces in the extrusion model. Like this. And like that. So we removed four, uh, three of the four side surfaces in this box. And that should form a chair. Again, we could use tabulation properties to replicate this chair. And we use the same properties as we used for the tables. So they will be matching. And again, we could copy. Shift key down to move, 
and move the mouse button, mouse. And again, we only want five rows of chair in our room. Sorry, that was the wrong surface I changed. I should have ten here, five here. And for this set of chairs, we should only have five rows. So there you go. And this one we should have 10, yeah. So we created numerous chairs and tables. You can also uh, create some columns in the room. New surface, Control A. And then the radius, center and the radius of the column. Then we use the circle ellipse tool and make eight faces in this column. The column should be of the same height of, as the room, so we make it start at zero meters height and make it three meters high. So this is a column, and we could again make a number of these columns. Let's just make five and make six meters between them, like this. Okay, let's see into Odeon that we created the surfaces we wanted. So we have columns, tables and chairs, and we have the room itself. You can look into the room and you'll see that we have layers like we would have if we imported it from AutoCAD. And even you can change the layers of the surfaces going back to the extrusion model and you might want to change the layers of the column, because it should be the column layer, of course. Let's see, where did we have the column? Here. The column should not be on the chair layer, but rather on the column layer, of course. So here is the column. This should be table layer. And this should be table layer. So we have our room situated on different layers, like this. And using the layers makes it easy for us to assign different materials to different parts of the room.